Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I want to go ahead and shout out Lamont Williams. Lamont and a few other people have sent me this story that's going around. It's real crazy. It's about Kanye West. So basically what happened is that there's a few Kanye West stands and they decided to start a website called Yeezy Anity. And they're basically trying to drum up people to come and join the Church of Yeezys. This situation is creepy. It's starting to gain momentum through the blogs. A lot of blogs, MTV News just picked up on it recently. The kid who started it wants to remain anonymous. And so they had the website up and they're basically coining themselves the best church of all times. There are five pillars. There are certain things that you have to do. You have to believe that Jesus is the God and that you're serving him and only him. I mean, the whole situation is just really, really creepy. The people who are following the church of Yeezy Anity are considered disciples. So they're, they're, they're considered disciples like the 12 disciples. You know, I just don't understand what is going on with the internet. I don't understand what is going on with these young kids. Why they feel the need to put these celebrities on such a pedestal that they would start a religion dedicated to serving and worshiping Kanye. And I know a lot of y'all might be like, well, you know what? It's not that serious. They're just being funny. It's just a joke. I don't really find it as a joke. Because it's not like it's just somebody who just said, oh, we're just going to, you know, start a, you know, a little church called Easyanity. They created a website. They have everything on this website, pillars, how you can join. And folks are actually joining this. You know, it, it's just really kind of sad. It's almost like Christianity is just a big joke to a lot of people nowadays. He's a self-proclaimed creative genius whose pearls of wisdom include the quote, you know what should be banned? Stuff that's whack. So the question isn't so much, why is there now a church in Kanye West's honor, but... How in the world did it take so long? The story that hit the news that Lamont sent me and a few other people sent me too was of the South African pastor who basically has his congregation out in the pastures eating grass. Eating grass. When I seen this, I'm like, this cannot be life. You have folks out here worshiping Kanye and now you have a pastor in South Africa where his congregation is outside eating grass. What in the world is going on? Let me go ahead and play you guys this news clip and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Tell me one thing. He is young and charismatic. For tomorrow will never be like today. This is Pastor Lesejo Daniel and he runs Raboni Ministries. His sermons are always fired up, attracting young and old. Daniel claims to heal the sick and even cast out demons. Daniel's followers are totally under his control, but some of his methods have raised eyebrows. Hello. Congregants are made to eat grass, and Daniel insists it's an instruction from above. He refused to take questions from journalists, but used this service to address his critics. Daniel claims to be a prophet and says this is just the beginning of many mysterious things that will happen in the future. The average gathering at Pastor Daniel's church is representative of South Africa and all its neighbors. Rich and poor come here in droves to attend his sermons. And the fact that they eat grass is not an issue. It's nice. It's like uh, macaroni pasta. It's very nice. I may not have uh, eaten the grass or whatever, but if it happens that one day I eat the grass, it means I would have perhaps or maybe have the same level of, of Holy Spirit manifesting in me. Daniel says none of his followers have ever fallen ill from eating grass and claims it's a sign of God's doing. Malungi Elopui, Kharangua. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and I mean, I was just so disgusted when I seen that. There could have been all types of lions, tigers, and bears shitting in that grass, and them folks are just rolling around and eating it. But you know what I found really funny about that entire video? Not anywhere in that site that I see the pastor down there on all fours eating the grass with his followers. So you mean to tell me that your congregation is good enough to get down on the ground and eat grass for God, but yet and still, you're too good to eat grass for God? Huh. Hell, I thought what was good for the goose was good for the damn gander. You know, I find that real funny that these people have no problems eating grass because this man told them to, but yet and still, the man who's telling you to go eat grass, he's not partaking in the feast. 
you know, folks need to come better. I mean, this shit, this is what religion is nowadays. I don't want any parts of it. This shit is ridiculous. I'd rather just continue to have my relationship with God as I see fit. I just don't have time for all this new age, you know, mumbo jumbo spirituality, you know, where folks are worshiping Beyonce and starting churches for Kanye West. And then you have pastors out here having their, you know, their congregation sit and eat grass. And you have, you know, Bishop Eddie Long molesting kids. And I mean, this is just insane to me. This is just crazy. You also have pastors on reality television. And I don't know what's going on. But Christianity is starting to look really, really crazy now to a lot of people. These are supposed Christians who started the Church of Yeezyanity. You know, and I don't believe that they're real Christians. I think they're just trying to say that because as any real Christian knows, you're not supposed to be worshiping any other God besides, you know, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I just find this whole situation just kind of just creepy. This whole Church of Kanye, and they're really trying to drum with people. They're sending out types of tweets on Twitter, and, you know, a lot of folks are signing up. I'm getting emails about it, so I'm not interested. I'm not joining. No, If I want to join the church down the street, I damn sure ain't about to join no damn cult church on the internet called the damn Church of Kanye Christ. Ain't nobody got time for that bootleg shit. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation. Alright, deuces.